Hi, I'm Professor Nesheba, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the molecular orbital picture of Lewis acid base chemistry. So, uh, just to remind you, the stoichiometry of a Lewis acid base reaction is there's a base with a lone pair of electrons available to uh, form a bond. Uh, it combines with a, this thing A called the acid and to make the adduct uh, BA, that's the uh, product of the Lewis acid base reaction. The, I've laid out uh, the start of an MO diagram here. So here's B on the left, here's A on the right, and there's going to be the adduct uh, BA in the middle. And uh, you see I've just put a few molecular orbitals. One of those is quite important for forming the dated bond and I'm just labeling it as Psi B. Usually it's the HOMO, the highest occupied molecular orbital of the base. Um, sometimes it might be one below, but usually the HOMO. Okay, and uh, the thing to bear in mind is that lone pair of, uh, of electrons there are the same electrons as, uh, as, in that, as in that orbital. So there's the MO picture of the base, and now we have the MO picture of the acid, and uh, same kind of idea, but the point uh, about uh, Lewis, uh, the Lewis acid is that it needs to have some orbitals that don't have any electrons in them because, uh, as you can see from this stoichiometry, uh, it didn't bring the, any electrons uh, to that bond. So usually it's the LUMO, lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, but it might be one uh, above that. So I'm going to give that uh, the symbol Psi A for the uh, for the, for that uh, orbital of the acid and uh, the occupied orbital of the base, I'm going to call it Psi B. And uh, now I'm just going to draw a kind of a hypothetical uh, set of energy levels uh, for, the, um, for, for the adduct. And um, what we think about is that the um, Psi B, that uh, orbital, interferes um, constructively to produce a new molecular orbital which has lower energy and uh, the usual case is also that it would form a uh, uh, the destructive interference form an antibonding orbital. We'll call these Psi D and Psi star D for a uh, dated bond and uh, so that's the thing is that that MO will interfere with that MO on the, uh, on the acid to produce a sort of a bonding MO and an antibonding MO. And, uh, and the challenge is finding um, which ones these are just by the appearance of the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the MOs that went into making it. The other challenge about this is that these are usually, you know, inside a forest of other molecular orbitals of BA um, that, uh, you know, uh, are there, but they don't participate uh, in the bonding. Uh, when one final point here is that uh, it better be that uh, the, uh, that MO Psi D that results from the constructive interference from the base and the acid needs to have a pair of electrons in it because that pair of electrons is that pair of electrons right there that, that form the bond. Okay.